Greetings, Obasi Scott here, Oxygen Therapy Consultant, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to look at uh, the leaky gut, okay? We get a lot of questions about people trying to understand what leaky gut is, uh, trying to understand how um, it can um, aid herpes, how it can be confused with herpes, um, how even some symptoms can be uh, parallel with those from herpes. So what we want to do is we want to break down exactly what uh, leaky gut or leaky gut syndrome is known as LGS um, is how it occurs okay and then we also want to compare if you will some symptoms of leaky gut syndrome uh, with some symptom of symptoms of herpes okay so right here guys I found an article okay uh, dealing with leaky gut okay now I just want to read here to explain what it is when partially digested food toxins and bacteria pass through the small intestines and enter the bloodstream this is referred to as a condition known as leaky gut syndrome okay guys or LGS in simple terms large spaces occur between the cells that compose the wall of the gut since these spaces exist in the gut wall, bacteria and foods can find their way into the bloodstream. Okay, now, why do these spaces exist in the wall uh, of the gut and why do they let food? Well, for one, um, your, your, your organs and the, the membranes of your organs uh, are made up of cells, okay, just like your entire body is made up of cells and uh, those cells sometimes have spaces in them, but those cells can be uh, compromised to become loose, okay, without keeping your body in good health, keeping your organs uh, detox, keep them, keeping them flushed, and keeping them working properly. Uh, it's much hard these days to keep them working properly just because of the air that you breathe, the water that you drink, and the food that you eat. Okay, so we have to pay special attention to our, or, our organs, uh, particularly the gut, and keeping that streamlined and keeping that healthy. Now, uh, you can see this little diagram right here. Let me just scroll down. Leaky gut progression, okay? You can see this right here, okay, is the, um, okay, this right here is the actual um, membrane or the wall, the organ wall, the gut wall, okay? And these spaces right here where the arrows are pointing down are actually the spaces between the cells where the food where the space where the cells have literally loosened up and created um, holes okay microscopic holes that allow undigested food um, to leak out into the bloodstream okay thus the name leaky gut now leaky gut then uh, moves to food intolerance as you can see as it moves down it moves it moves to uh, a immune abnormal abnormalities okay and that's what we want to look at here is immune system abnormalities okay now your immune system let me just just take a, a segue for a minute and talk about the immune system the immune system was created to kill anything that's not supposed to be in the body yes kill it thus you can be cured from it okay whether it's a virus whether it's a uh, a bacteria a toxin or a parasite the immune system is the only thing uh, that can cure your body okay you can do um, you can take every type of medication in the world but if it's not doing the single most thing of supporting and boosting your immune system then you will never be cured okay and this is why doctors can keep um, this is why doctors can keep taking you through the same rigmarole by prescribing more and more medicines okay and then immune abnormalities then uh, go to autoimmune condition um, and, and basically that means that your immune system um, gets used to working in a broken state okay and it, and it won't do the job okay now that we understand that let's move on and let's look at some symptoms okay uh, 52 leaky gut symptoms okay that you may suffer from okay arthritis hay fever uh, psoriasis diabetes okay multiple sclerosis poor memory okay fevers okay 
um, fibromyalgia, fuzzy thinking. Okay, look at this. Mouth sores. Okay, remember when I first started talking, I said we were going to talk about um, how uh, different symptoms can be confused and uh, we were going to parallel these to herpes. Now, uh, you also want to see um, autism, eczema, anxi uh, anxiety down here on the bottom. Okay. Um, gluten intolerance, okay, reoccurring inflections, obesity, fatigue, okay, I want to point out this one, fatigue, okay, um, general food intolerance, allergies, okay, depression, okay, mood swings, okay, now you may, if you're listening to this video, you may be suffering from some of this and you may be um, going through some of these symptoms and you may think it's from herpes, but um, the bigger thing or the bigger picture is you can't even cure yourself from herpes if you cannot one deal with the leaky gut syndrome um, because toxins herpes is a, just re a result of an over toxified system okay so toxins will keep escaping through the gut into the bloodstream if you don't deal with the leaky gut first um, so I would recommend that you deal with leaky gut, heal your gut, um, and then move on to uh, work on curing yourself from herpes, okay? <clears throat> Let's look at this one. Chronic fatigue, okay, confusion, toxic feeling, shortness of breath, uh, bacterial infection is a big one, okay, aggressive behavior, uh, sinus and nasal congestion, urinary tract infections, okay, nervousness. Okay, so all of these are some real big symptoms of leaky gut. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to kind of um, move this out the way for a second. And I just want to move uh, our symptoms of herpes into view. And let me kind of zoom in on this a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so here. Um, these are symptoms of, of HSV, okay? Um, HSV 1 and 2. I mean, if I scroll up here, um, this is actually coming from uh, New York Times Health Guide, okay? So let's just go down back to our symptoms, okay? It says many people have HSV 2 infection, never have sores, or they may be mild symptoms that they do not even notice or mistake for insect bites or other skin conditions. If signs and symptoms do occur, the first outbreak uh, do occur during the first outbreak, they can be quite severe. The first outbreak usually happens within two weeks, okay? Notice that the first outbreak normally happens within two weeks of being infected. Now, um, let me just say this before I go on, that leaky gut, okay, um, leaky gut is something that happens as a result of the foods that you eat. Okay, it's a result of poor health. It's a result of uh, uh, what you're putting in your body and how you're treating your organs. Herpes, on the other hand, is something that you can contract. It is a contagious uh, disease. Okay, now uh, you remember over here where we talked about um, some of the symptoms of leaky gut. Um, and, and we're just going to look back and we're going to see some of the th same things reiterated over here. Okay, look at this decreased appetite. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, let's see, I thought it said something about uh, decreased appetite. Um, unstable, unstable blood sugar, weight gain. Okay, let's see, weight loss. Okay. Uh, recurrent colds and flus, okay, aggressive behavior, okay, dairy intolerance, okay, see, gluten intolerance, okay, see, all this has to do with the food that you eat, okay, general food intolerance and allergies, okay, so see, uh, decreased appetite is literally, that's what that is, your body um, not being able to tolerate a certain uh, food, okay, we see fever, okay, fever, uh, is a symptom again of recurring colds and flus okay fevers okay general sick feeling again um, 
general sick feeling that's 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 another recurring colds and flus um just chronic fatigue okay things like that general uh, shortness of breath those things make you feel sick okay general sick feeling okay muscle aches in the lower back okay buttocks and thighs uh, are weak okay so uh, let's see here uh, I thought I saw something about well there's fevers right there okay um, I thought I saw something about about body pains May it, maybe it was another article I was reading uh, okay but body pains uh, well here's something arthritis okay so this one says uh, muscular aches in the lower back okay and this one says arthritis which is a form of body pain okay uh, let's look over here again let's just go down uh, genital symptoms include appearing of small painful blisters filled with clear or straw colored fluid okay they're usually found in women okay it talks about where they're found okay these bumps the outbreaks okay but what I wanted to get to um, let's see here um, again in women just be careful a symptom of herpes here is vaginal discharge okay and I just wanted to show you um, over there over here where you look at urinary tract infections okay so see how um, leaky gut can also have a lot of symptoms that are um, parallel to herpes okay um, and, th and that's just because both of them come from a state of toxicity or over toxicity okay here we go again fatigue okay this is herpes let's go back to um, our leaky gut okay um, here we go chronic fatigue okay parallel symptoms okay um, physical or emotional stress okay here we go let's go back here confusion okay insomnia all of these mood swings okay depression all of these are mental um, mental type uh, cases are emotional stress of some sort okay um, let's go down one more trauma okay now um, it goes on to talk a little bit more about attacks and symptoms but what I really wanted to point out, point out to you is that I wanted you to get a clear understanding of leaky gut and I also wanted you to get a clear understanding that there are a lot of overlapping symptoms okay symptoms that show up in both herpes okay and symptoms that also show up in both the leaky gut syndrome okay so again uh, what I would recommend is for you to deal with the leaky gut first because as long as you got toxins coming through this through the walls and your 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 um, organs or your gut is not cured you're allowing toxins in the bloodstream toxins in the bloodstream are just going to further reduce um, the immune system because the immune system now has to try to attack those toxins and get them out of the body okay and if you've got a virus in your body as well your immune system has got to work double time trying to attack the virus and the um, and the toxins that's coming through your gut so deal with the leaky gut uh, first and then go ahead and um, deal with the actual virus you will have a lot better chance of success if you do it in that order uh, that's not to say that you should not get started where you can okay go ahead and get started where you can um, even to help you more let me just show you this I want to go over to um, our website the underground cure.com okay and I want to show you something we've done for everybody uh, if you go over to products here okay uh, you can get to this two different ways you can get to this from the actual products dashboard or if you hover over products you can go right to the personal health assessment okay so if you go to the personal health assessment this will help us to assess um, the situation the state that you're in um, it will help us to recommend 
uh, what protocol or what call to action we think would be best for you. We have a lot of questions about symptoms and uh, what you've experienced in the past, what you're experiencing now. Um, so go go do the uh, personal health assessment. Go take a look at the site. Um, as you can see on the products dashboard, um, there are two different pages right here for the herpes protocol kits and the leaky gut protocols. I just want to point something out before I end this video is that on the leaky gut protocols um, we do have the standard leaky gut protocol but we also have the leaky gut protocol coupled with the ultimate herpes protocol which you can save some money on and a couple with the seven day um, herpes protocol if you want to get the leaky gut first which you can save some money on so um, with that guys uh, I'm Obasi Scott I need you to do three things for me I hope this video helped you um, if it did this is a movement okay hit the subscribe button hit, join us join us help us push this movement forward uh, we're out here trying to help people doing all we can trying to help them with this uh, virus to eradicate it completely from their body um, so subscribe number two is I need you to push this video forward share it post it on blogs post it out there uh, because just like it's helping you it could help somebody else okay and God um, will definitely um, help those who help others okay so I want you to help somebody with this uh, and let them let this motivate and educate somebody too um, also what I'd like for you to do is um, okay let's see we got subscribe we got to put the video out there oh any questions that you have you can post them in the um, any questions that you have you can post them in the comment section but we only looking for positive energy okay we don't want nobody coming on here negative okay those comments will be deleted it's just like your mama used to say alright if you don't have nothing nice to say please don't say it at all because you will say something and then that will help that will that will help either somebody to gain hope or to lose hope this is a journey um, just like you it was so easy for you to get this virus this is a journey to get it killed and get it eradicated from your body um, and it's something you have to commit to in your mind and in your spirit and your in your whole belief system okay you have to believe that you are meant to be made well okay last and least if you've got any questions you can contact us at the underground cure uh, dot com go to our contact page um, or you can reach us at underground cure at gmail dot com all that information is right below this video okay um, right below all that information right below this video um, in the description the email the email address and the website so with that I'm Obasi I hope to see each and every one of you cured and not just at the top but over the top talk to you soon